Hello everybody, happy Friday. I am looking to make sure, Facebook was just doing something really weird and I thought, okay, got him in the right place. Hello everybody. I thought maybe for a moment I wasn't going to be able to go live, but it worked. Close it and open it again and then it works. Hope you guys have had a good week. Um, it is crazy town here. I posted a picture earlier of the cement truck right on the other side of this window that's right here. The cement truck is gone. They are pretty much done in the backyard, but now they're right here hosing all their things down and being noisy. So if you hear voices or banging, just ignore it, right? I mean, we've dealt with the dogs, we've dealt with the husband, we've dealt with the kids. Now we'll just deal with the construction. No problem. Um, anyhow, today we are focusing on pick of the patch. Um, this bundle is a punch bundle and punches always sell out. So if you want this, make sure you get it. Um, the stamp set is so cute. The little gourd is just adorable with all the little things. And I realize none of my projects today use the jack-o'-lantern face. We're just using pumpkins today. I have um, three fun projects for you, two 3D projects today. So let me open up so I can see your comments. And then I am going to show you all the things that I got in the mail this week. Um, you guys spoil me as always. So um, I'm going to flip the camera around. I do want to tell you one thing, though. I'm not going to go through all the other things today. Let me switch you guys around real quick. Um, Something I don't know if I have mentioned is World Card Making Day. Have I mentioned it to you guys? I can't remember. Let me get all situated here. Hold on. Let me move everything out of the way. World Card Making Day is October 7th. And on this day, Stampin' Up! has been doing a virtual card making event. It's totally free. Um, you do want to register so that they can send you the link, but um, it is free, so please register. It's It was fun last year. They do back behind the scenes things. They do fun new, you know, stamping you've never seen before. Um, so make sure you register for that. I will add that link in this video description when I'm done today so that you can register. Um, the three bundles that they are using are also listed here. I think they'll show it to you um, when you register, but the Circle Sayings, let me pick this up. Circle Sayings is from the annual catalog. Earthen Textures is also from the annual catalog. And this one right here, Heartfelt Hexagon, is new, and it is gonna be in the spring catalog, but it's available right now. So you can order it, and look, it's a punch too. It's like a little, I don't know, I guess it's a hexagon, a hexagon punch. Um, and then this adorable stamp set. So um, you don't have to have these things, um, but if you wanna make the projects along with them, you can either use what you have or you can use these. Um, but I just wanted to make sure you guys knew about it because I don't think that I had said anything about it yet and I feel kind of bad. Um, October 7th is coming up pretty darn quickly. Okay, so that is that. Now, I got so much mail this week that I think my husband was jealous. He kept coming in with the mail saying, gosh, you got more stuff this week. And I was like, I know, my customers are awesome. So it was my birthday yesterday. It was very low key. We really didn't do anything. We didn't even go out to eat. My husband went and picked up Cheesecake Factory. I just wasn't feeling it. I don't know. I just wanted to do nothing. You know, sometimes that's the best thing. But it was a good birthday. Thank you for all of you who wished me a happy birthday. Um, Jessica, will I be attending World Card Making Day? Actually, there's, for some reason, I was thinking I was doing something that day. I think I'll be watching um, in and out. But I, I do believe we can watch the replay afterwards if you can't attend live. Um, and this was on the top of the stack already open. I couldn't remember if I showed you guys this card last week. It's so cute. This is from Donna. Donna is a beautiful card maker. Very cute. I like that color combo. Coastal Cabana, Flirty Flamingo, and Gray. All right, this, look at this cute little thing right here. This came from Kelly. Kelly is on my team. Isn't that so stinking cute, Kelly? This is so adorable. I'm gonna put this up on my bulletin board. And I love the card too, the little cactus. I love any cactus stamps that you guys know I love it. Very, very cute. 
This one is from Chris, and Chris sent a really cool fun fold. Look at this. Boop. Look at that. Can you guys see? And she put him on um, a window sheet, so you can't really even see that. He's just like dancing around. I think that's so fun, the little pop-up card. And I like how you put the rectangle, the radiating stitches rectangle on the inside. I would never have thought to do that. It's a perfect fit. But anyway, very cute. Love it. Love it. This card is gorgeous. This is from Christy. And I literally, literally went, oh, when I looked at it, those colors are so bright and vivid. Um, that almost looks like, um, Oh, I can't remember what it was called. Remember, you'd sprinkle it on in the water, and it was so cool. It was so cool. Chrissy, this is a gorgeous card. Thank you so very much. You guys, really, I have the best customers in the world. This is from Mary Alice, and Mary Alice also sent me something fun from Amazon. Mary Alice, first, let me show her card. Look at those flowers. Very, very beautiful. They are textured and inked, and it's a little bit of a fun fold, too, like that. Speaking of fun folds, I am working on a class right now that is going to be all fun folds, I think. So keep sending me the fun folds because I need more ideas. But look, she sent me this cute little Amazon gift and I could smell it before I could even, before I even opened it. It smelled so delicious. Just a little like care package, little soaps, candle, or no, that's a little koozie. Oh, cute. That's like a little wine, um, you know, the little insulated cup. Some, uh, those look like bath bombs. I need this for sure. Thank you, Mary Alice. That was so nice. So nice. You guys really are so, so thoughtful. Um, this one is from Deborah. I love the rustic crate. I like how she cut that out of, I can't tell that is probably designer series paper. It's got some texture on it. Really cute. And she used those little brackets there. Very nice. Very, very nice, Deborah. Um, this is a fun card. My daughter's going to steal it from me. This is from Nicole, my downline. Nicole, if you're watching, I read your letter. It was very sweet. Thank you very much. Um, but this is so cute. I like how she put these little, remember these little rocks? Like there are space rocks or asteroids floating around. But so cute. I have not done anything with the stamp set. And I love it. So very cute, Nicole. Thank you very, very much. This is from Terry, my downline. Terry's at the top of my downline list. That means she's been with me longer than anybody. So she's a wonderful stamper. Terry, thank you so much. So cute. I love rainbows and I love like when you nest things together. I don't know, I just love it. Very cute. And Terry also always lines her envelopes, always. She's very good about that. Um, this is from Nina. Nina always sends me fun cards too. It's a fun fold and it pops up, another pop-up card. Look at that. It's like a little town. Isn't that cute? Very cute. Um, next month's All-Star Tutorial bundle features this suite and I just designed my project yesterday and I used this little house. It's very cute. Can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, Nina, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, this is from Mar uh, Mary Rita, right? Yes, Mary Rita, look at that. Mm, so pretty my favorite paper probably that print in the whole catalog so cute you guys are such good stampers beautiful thank you now this card i loved too this is from kathy i believe make sure kathy yes this is this is those new uh masks those layering masks and i haven't played with them yet i really need to so so fun very very pretty and uh i like how you did the like the wood fence back there. I would not have thought of that. Very pretty. This card is so cute. This is from Kathy. Kathy's also on my team. The little chef holding the birthday cake. Isn't that cute? And it says, know what I like best about your birthday? You. Oh, cute. So cute. Thank you, Kathy. Um, this is from Janice. That's my mom's name, Janice. The, not my mom. This is Janice from, Janice, where do you live? Janice lives in Florida. Oh, one of my favorite places. Look what she did with the pinata. Oh, so cute. And this, oh my gosh, look at all of that. That is so clever. Little dots like that. The little um, um, adhesive bat that looks like the end color dots from last year. And then this. Very, very cute. Thank you so much. You guys always write me sweet, sweet notes. 
Um, and then uh, this one is from Sue. She's also on my team. And she said she actually cased one of my cards to make this card. I'm flattered, Sue. Sue's a beautiful stamper, too. Look at that. I love it. Yellow and black. It's such a good color combination. Okay, now I have a couple more things to show you. Hold on. I even got boxes. Look. This is from Patty. Now, you guys probably remember. Patty is the, like, gift gift box extraordinaire she designs these cute gift boxes sends them to people randomly and i knew before i even opened it look at the side it has these like pumpkin stickers on it i knew exactly who it was from before i even opened it because that's how patty is patty goes over above and beyond and look isn't that gorgeous she used those little stitching dies on the card base and look so cute what that little pumpkin that's the paper pumpkin stamp how cute i didn't notice that the first time and then i haven't fully opened it because i wanted you guys to see how cute she had wrapped it oh my gosh i'm gonna have a fun time with all of these and i just got all my pumpkins and put them all out so patty these will go into my collection look cute little fabric and then we've got, a, oh, cute, a little hanging thing. You can hang that like on the stem of your pumpkin. That's very cute. Pumpkin seeds. What else? Oh my, no, you did not, Patty. Oh my gosh, do you guys know what this is? These are grid notebooks. Yes, you know I love grid. Oh my gosh. Now look, I am stocked. Thank you, Patty, that is so sweet. Look, there's just so much stuff in here. Patty, you really should go into business designing and selling gift boxes. I mean, people would pay you a lot of money for this stuff. You're very talented. Now, this one was cute. This came from Kathy. Kathy also sent me, I believe Kathy write the uh, pumpkins last year. This is um, her card. Beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. But look what she got me. A pink insulated cup. Oh, I didn't even see these inside. How cute, oh my gosh. Did you make those, Kathy? That looks like you made those pins. Those are so cool. This is a, try this new product for free. Please give feedback. Huh, very, very cool. And I love the cup. Funny enough, I just, I was just saying I needed a new cup. I have a Yeti, and this is gonna sound so dumb, but the hole is in the, like on this side, and there's a handle, and it's always on the wrong side when I pick it up. I feel like, I'm always having to trim it. I know it sounds dumb. My husband rolled his eyes when I told him, but this is perfect. I, I like when the straw is in the middle. Thank you so much, Kathy. Okay, one more, one more. I'm almost done. Oh, wait, I found two more cards that I didn't open. So I lied. Look, two more. They were hiding. This is from Laura. Laura is also on my team. And Laura is also a gift giving extraordinaire. She's very thoughtful. Look at that beautiful card. And she's a beautiful stamper too. Beautiful. And these are so cute. I just bought a ceramic turkey yesterday at DJ Maxx, so that'll be cute with it. It'll go perfect. I love fall most of all. I really do. Thank you, Laura. Thank you so much. Okay, wait. I can't believe these cards fell down behind and I didn't open them. It's a surprise. My birthday's like, oh my gosh. I can already tell. Look at that. Who is this from? I didn't even look. This is from Michelle. Michelle. That is gorgeous. Wow, very pretty. Thank you, Michelle. All right, one more, one more. This is from Cindy. Cute, oh my gosh, you guys know me so well. It's pink, look, pink and gray. I love it, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Wow, wow, you guys, so, so sweet. Oh wait, I forgot one more, one more, one more, wait. Carla. Carla's so good too. And I especially wanted to pull this card out because this is what we're using today. And look what Carla did. She punched the pumpkins from designer series paper. So I'm going to put this over here in my stack and we're going to look at it again at the end after we're done. That is so cute. She sent me, how did you know that I love these? Have I said, have I mentioned this before? I love pistachios and these two are my favorite flavors. And I like when they're not in the shell because <laughs> I'm lazy. Cute things, Carla, very, very cute. Look at that, so cute. Okay, I think that's it. You guys, oh my gosh, unbelievable. I'm spoiled, very spoiled. My husband gave me um, 
and this is gonna sound funny. Do you guys know the catalog Grandin Road? I always ask for something from that catalog for my birthday, it seems like every year. They have these fake mums for your porch because when I buy mums here, they die and they never bloom very good. They're not very good. So they have these fake mums and he bought me those because I that's what I asked him for. <laughs> and he gave me a gift card to TJ Maxx. I mean, what, what else could I ask for, right? I mean, come on. Okay, so that's it for today's little journey through my birthday goodies. Thank you to everyone. You're very, very sweet. Um, let's get on to Facebook Friday. I was trying not to take too, too long because today's projects are a little bit, take a little bit long. Um, the prize from last week um, is Marion Henrik. Marion, I don't think I have your mailing address, so if you'll either email me or message me, I would love to send you this as a thank you for sharing my um, video. You can share it either on Facebook or on YouTube, and I will pick somebody at random next week to win. What is our prize this week? A, a paper share and a ribbon share. I just mailed these out, and I had I cut extra so that I could give them away as a prize. So if you would like a holiday catalog paper share, and the holiday catalog ribbon share. Share the video. Put in the comments that you shared, okay? Lisa, you've never heard of Grandin Road? Look them up. They're pricey, but they do put their things on sale. I don't know how, how um, if my mums look fake or not. I'm going to share a picture of my porch with you guys. I'll do that tomorrow. Um, it has all my pumpkins, which I'm going to talk about today. And it has my fake mums. <laughs> they will not fade and they will not die. I am so excited because literally it is still 96 degrees here. So the mums are just, you know, like, I do have one real mum. We'll see. I doubt it's going to live. It never does, but we'll see. Okay, so Marion messaged me. Thank you for sharing my video. Um, okay, so now let's get to what we are here for. Today's Facebook Friday features the pick of the patch bundle. Um, we're going to make three projects. Hopefully my blog post went up. Um, it has a free PDF under the last photo. It's going to have all the measurements and the supply list that you need for all the projects. Um, there's also a link here for Club Create. Um, the subscription deadline for Club, Club Create October is October 7th. And then um, this month's All-Star Tutorial PDF. Um, the new PDF will come out on Sunday. I probably won't post it until Monday. Um, but the next one, like I mentioned, features the Le Shops. Sweet. Okay. Okay. Now, also, if you like today's projects, I will send them to you as a free kit that looks like this. Um, as a thank you with any order over $35 using this host code that is placed by Monday at midnight. Okay. Um, all orders over $35 will get this free kit. You will need the, the pick of the patch stamps and punch. I don't do any stamping for you. There'll be a little thank you tag in there, but other than that, you will do all the stamping. Um, I just thought of something that I forgot to tell you guys. The trucking along bundle, you know, the truck punch is back in stock. It came way earlier. I am planning on doing Facebook Friday next Friday with that. Even if it sells out again, I'm still going to go for it. We're just because I'm tired. These projects I made like in July, a long time ago. They've just been sitting here. So next Friday, trucking along for Facebook Friday. If you want that bundle, I would not wait. I would get it ASAP, okay? Um, that just popped in my mind. I wanted to make sure to tell you. Um, anyway, all orders over $35 will earn you a free kit, free project kit featuring the pumpkins. Okay, well, let's get started. So I told you guys on my porch, I have a lot of pumpkins, a lot of pumpkins. Um, I'm a little bit obsessed with them. I don't know why, but it seems like every year I love them more. Um, so the first project I made was a card that is inspired by my porch. I have a, a stack of pumpkins, and so I definitely wanted to stack these pumpkins. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're going to punch some and we're gonna stamp some flat, okay? So let's do the stamping flat first. This is a piece of very vanilla, let me see, it's on my list, four and a fourth by three and a fourth, okay? And we're gonna use pumpkin pie and Cajun craze. And we are gonna use the little pumpkin and the big pumpkin. 
and I think we're gonna use that smaller pumpkin. There are five pumpkins in the stamp in the stamp set, but this only punches out two of them. So there will be some fussy cutting involved today. Okay, just one fussy cutting at the end. The rest we'll just do punching. Okay, so we're gonna stamp our little stack here. So we're gonna start with pumpkin pie. All right, we're gonna stamp that about right there. And then we'll stamp this guy in pumpkin pie also. But you know what, I'm gonna do a little bit of rock and roll stamping. That's when you take your stamp and you kind of roll it in another color, the edges. And what I like to do is then stamp it again on my lighter ink pad. That might transfer some of that color onto your other ink pad, but I've not, I, I don't know, for whatever reason, it doesn't bother me. You can always scrape it off if it does with like a spoon. But it's gonna add a little bit of a dark, see, like a dark shadow there. Um, and then I'm gonna stamp the smaller pumpkin. Oops, no, we're gonna do that in, in Cajun Craze. Like that, okay? All right, so then we're gonna move that to the side and we're gonna get a just another piece of paper. And we're gonna stamp some that we're gonna punch. And you wanna look at how your punch is gonna punch out. If you did this, you don't wanna have to cut your paper. So look ahead, okay, I need, to, I need to stamp my pumpkins with the top to the top part. Also notice there are these other pieces around here. So if you were to stamp something right next to it, it might punch that out. So try to space out your punches as well. I mean, your stamps as well. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the mid, middle size pumpkin. And I didn't mean to do that in, um, do I have my chamois? It's here somewhere. Okay, let's do pumpkin pie first, like that. And then we'll do rock and roll again, where you just round the edges and then ink it again. And I'll put that up there. Can you guys tell how there's a little bit of a shadow, a little bit of difference there? And then we'll do a large, let's look, how do we need to, we need to do it right in the corner. A large Cajun Craze pumpkin. There's this little dotted stamp somewhere. All of my stamps should be sitting right here. Where is it, where is it, where is it? It's not here. <laughs> oh, it's right here. No, that's not it either. We'll hold on just one minute. Let's see, these little dots right here is what I'm talking about. Um, hold on, let me see if they're on another tray. We've got leaves over here. Well, Pilly, I don't know where it is. I'll find it in a minute. Um, I made these videos yesterday. What in the world? Sometimes I put them on the back of the blocks. I made these, I recorded these projects yesterday and it was here yesterday, so I don't know. Well, I guess we're gonna have to leave the dots off. So just notice on this one, I stamped the dots on these pumpkins as well. It's so cute too. Darn it, I have no idea where that went. Did I put it back in? No. Hmm. That's very weird. Very weird indeed. Okay, let's punch these guys out. We're not gonna waste our time. And this is very vanilla cardstock. You could do basic white too if you want. I'm not sure, I can't remember why I decided to go with very vanilla. Maybe because the DSP, no, the DSP doesn't have any. All right, I am gonna have to cut my paper just a little bit. And we will stick that in like, nope, nope, nope. Well, now I've gone and done it, haven't I? All right, let's get a post-it note. <laughs> if you ever do this with your, your uh, paper and it's too small to go into your punch, just get a post-it note and punch it. I try to be so like, okay, proactive. I'm gonna plan where I'm gonna put these and it's gonna be perfect and then, and then it's not. All right, we're also gonna punch out some leaves. Um, Kathy, I like Cajun Craze too. Have you played with a new copper clay? Copper clay has quickly become a favorite of mine. It is beautiful, it's browner, and we're gonna use it on the next two projects. It's browner, um, I don't know, it's just really pretty. All right, so three old olive leaves. One. Two. 
Where did those dots go? Oh, you know what? I did clean my stamps. I wonder if it's sitting on the sink, on the sink in the bathroom. I don't think it is. Very weird. Very weird. All right, now for the stem. You can stamp the stem if you want, but I'm just gonna punch it out of early espresso cardstock. Let's get all the doodads out of here. I keep looking, thinking I'm, it's here and I'm just looking at it. All right, so one, how many do we need? Two, we need four, three, and four. Cinnamon cider, oh, Kimberly, I love cinnamon cider very much. I don't remember exactly. It's like a, like a br more brown, right? Like a, like a, oh, I can't even describe, like a cinnamon, I guess. It was, it was a good color, yeah, very good. But copper clay, yeah, you like it, Tina? Copper clay, uh-huh. I'm hoping copper clay makes a comeback in a future color refresh. I like it a lot. All right, when you, um, when you put your stem, glue your stems down, the fat part of the stem goes on the bottom. If, you, if it's an apple, the fat part would go at the top. In my opinion, I mean, maybe I, you would disagree with me, but I think that's right. Okay, before I glue these down, hold on. I gotta stamp some curly cues. Let's move all of this. The curly cue little vines. Let's do this right here. I think I'm okay with that glue there. And then we'll take this leaf. This is old olive. I feel like I'm pretty zoomed out today. Let's see if I can zoom in just a bit. There we go, just a bit. All right, and then we're gonna take our dimensionals. Dimensionals, and we'll start here. Actually, before we do that, Let's put some more curly cues on here because we want to stamp them behind. I'm going to put that one a little bit higher. So I need to stamp this a little bit like up, like that. So before you put on each pumpkin, kind of look to where you want it to go and then put the vine there. Um, the smaller one we'll do like this. Okay, and then we'll put that there. These pumpkins are cuter with the dots. Hope I didn't lose that. I have been designing, I have been a designing machine the last few days. Sometimes I, oh, I can't come up with anything. The last few days, inspiration has been good. So I have designed retreat, holiday retreat. Look for details on that coming probably next week. Um, I hope to feature, I hope to use the um i decided against the bears because i really think that that's going to be difficult to get to keep in stock however everything seems to be difficult to keep in stock right now um but i think i am going to use um the joy of christmas suite i well i've designed all the projects let's just pray and hope that they stay in stock so details will be coming out about that next week i've had some of you already asking me about that Okay, here is our white, or no, vanilla card base. And I have a piece of the Oh Holy Night designer series paper, another class I'm working on. I think the Oh Holy Night is gonna be a class in October, if I can get it done in the next few days. Um, okay, now, before we put that down, let's stamp some other pumpkins. Let's stamp the tall and skinny guy right here on the edge. And we'll get the curly Q right here. And we'll just do kind of like, like that. And then I have a stem and we will stamp the stem in. Mm, do I have early espresso here? I do not, so let's use pecan pie. Pecan pie is another favorite. Okay, and then we'll do um, the little pumpkin. Do we wanna, let's do this little one down here on this end, like this. Stamp a little vine. Um, Lisa, I'm not saying I'm not gonna use the bears. I'm just saying I'm not gonna use them for retreat. Um, I have actually designed a few things with the bears. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I will, I will use the bears at some point. 
I just worry that everybody's going to be using that in November. So who knows? Who knows? It's very hard to tell who's going to use what. Okay, one thing we forgot to do is our little blackbird. Let's get our little blackbird. Thanks, Anita. And I'm going to stamp that blackbird right there. And I'm going to take my pumpkin pie stamp and blend and color his little beacon like that. One thing I forgot. Hold on. We need to put like a line, a grounding line below them. So I've just got my light Cajun craze. We don't want them just floating. We want them sitting on the ground. There we go. Okay. Let me close all of these before we have a disaster. I almost had a disaster this morning. And it was, you know, when you drop an ink pad or a project onto your ink pad, it is very upsetting. <laughs> very upsetting and that almost happened to me today um so okay let's see so i've got oh holy night i think is going to be a fun folds car class if i can come up with enough fun folds um then we've got joy of christmas and christmas classics for the retreat and then the bears i'm working on the bears for i don't know what so the last two days have been design days and early next week i'll get hopefully i'll get it all done Okay, now, if I could pick this up. This rectangle, where did it go? Right here, was cut with this die. I thought the stitching was gonna be on the rectangle, but it's not. See, like that. This is from the Give It A Whirl dies. I use them every single week. And we're just gonna make a little sign. Pick of the patch. You're the pick of the patch. And then grab your little, the smallest, um, hole punch you have and get your linen thread and you really don't need very much this is way too much but I'd like to have too much I'm gonna thread it through here and then I'm gonna get a dimensional and stick it down with a dimensional in the back and then I'm gonna thread it through the other hole like that and it really needs to be much shorter than you think because we're gonna hang it right there okay so about like that and I always, you always think you need more than you do and then there and then we'll trim off the excess all right it already has the dimensionals on it so we'll put it right there now i'm going to take some of these neutral i've been using the heck out of these too neutral adhesive back sequins and we'll put that up here like it's the nail that it's hanging on like that and then we'll just put a few around for fun and that is it now this card you're the pick of the patch could be so many different reasons right i mean so many and there you go oh lisa i played with a cable card too for our swap I'm, i think you and i are in the same swap group lisa is on my team um that that um cable card what's it called up in the air so cute i love that set okay there you go what do you guys think dots man I don't know where the dots went. How do I lose a stamp? I left them all up here. Who knows? Story of my life. <laughs> Story of my life. Okay, let's move on to our next project. Let me grab it. All right, so this project is gonna be a little more artsy. And if you don't wanna get artsy, you can do your pumpkins for this project in the exact same way we did in the other, the other, um, the other, the card, the first card. But I wanted to do some watercoloring. You guys know I love to do watercoloring, so that's what we're gonna do. But would you like to know what's inside? A Hostess, let me grab the box. Hostess iced pumpkin. I think we've, I think we've used these before. Delish. I got them at either Target or HB or Walmart grocery store. I link, oh! <laughs> look what i found it was stuck to the bottom of the box you guys okay come back isn't that how it always ends up 
stuck to the bottom of something. Okay, good. Now I can add the dots and they'll be so cute. And the, the, let's get Cajun Craze. So funny. How many dyes have you lost that way, you guys? I have lost dyes that way. Um, let's put some dark dots on that one and maybe on this one too. There we go. The dots are so cute. Isn't that cute? Okay, back to what we were doing. Hostess, <laughs> Hostess Cupcake. All right, let's make the box first, all right? This is a multi-step. Actually, let's do the watercoloring first. This is a multi-step project. Um, do I have a bowl of water? I did, somewhere, right here. I mean, I'm usually pretty prepared. Why won't that stand up? Stand up. I need a new iPad case. Okay, so we're gonna do some watercoloring. First, we're gonna do um, pumpkin pie and Cajun craze again. And I'm gonna take my long block like this. I'm gonna make a little palette of ink like that, okay? So now, let's just move these over here. Um, we're gonna take our water painter and we're gonna get this wet. And we're just gonna do half of this sheet, half of this in these two colors. Cause we need some orange and we need some brown for the stems and we need some um, green for our leaves. All right, so see how I'm picking up both colors and I'm just kind of mixing them. I want it to be lighter and darker in some areas. You can take your salt, you know, table salt or the, the bigger kosher salt and put it on here when it's wet and it will make some lovely texture. All right, so you only need two pumpkins so you don't need to go too crazy on that. All right, now let's turn this and do the other two colors, which are going to be old olive and pecan pie. And we don't need quite as much, so we'll just make us a little area. We only need two leaves. Make sure you've got plenty of water, otherwise your colors will not do what you want them to do. They will be kind of hard. Kind of, I don't know if that's the right word to explain it. Um, if you don't have enough water, it's just gonna look like, I don't know, it's not gonna look right. All right, so once you've done that, and you can set it aside to dry. If you want to sprinkle your, your salt on there, do it. It'll give you some great texture. And I think on my original one, I may have done that. Okay, now let's make the box. We are going to use a new copper clay. Now copper clay, you guys, is an in color. And I think I told you guys last week that I, in the spring when copper clay came out, I was like, oh, I don't want that color. Cause you know, with spring colors, but now in the fall, I'm like, I can't get enough copper clay. It's so good. Okay, let's look at our PDF and let's pray I type the measurements correctly. 10 by five and three fourths. We're gonna score the long side at one and a half, four and a fourth, five and three fourths, and eight and a half. And then turn it to the short side and we're gonna do one and a half and four and a fourth. Just check it, make sure it's all right. Make sure my measurements were right. More times than not, they are not right. All right, grab your bone folder. This is just gonna be a clamshell box. We've made this box many times, different um, sizes, and uh, I think it's pretty easy. So now you're gonna take your scissors and snip those lines and snip off the corners of all six of the tabs. All right, so snip and snip. All right, I'm reading a new book. I'll tell you about the new book. Um, what did I just finish? I just finished, oh, I did, okay, I finished one. If you like historical books, 
uh, historical fiction. It was called A Fall of Marigolds. And I will say that I, it was good. It's recommendable. It's not the best book I've ever read, but it was good. Um, it's a dual timeline. If you read historical fiction, you know a lot of authors do that. And it takes place on Ellis Island in New York in 1911. And current day, well, 20, 2011 on September 11th. So some connections to 9-11. It's very good. Um, well, it's good. I wouldn't say it's, vi well, maybe I would. The ending was so good. I didn't, I didn't really see where we were going in the book, you know, and maybe that's on me, but I loved the ending. So if you're looking for a new book, A Fall of Marigolds. Okay. So we've done this and then I'll tell you what book I'm reading. I'll tell you in a minute because now I'm reading a new one. We're going to put adhesive on the outside of these tabs. Now, when I say reading, I am reading and listening. I read at night and I listen to the audiobook during the day. Because if I didn't listen to the audiobooks while I was working, it would take me a lot longer because I only really read at night, um, you know, before I go to sleep. So if you have not done audiobooks, I highly recommend them. They are so fun. I listen to them while I exercise, while I work, while I drive, road trips. It's very good. All right, so put them like that. The tabs, you're going to fold in to the bottom, those four, and then these two to the top. Um, these clothespins, just many clothespins will hold your box like that. Okay, so now let's let that dry. Um, audiobooks, back to that. You can get them for free from your library um, on the library app called Libby. If you have a library card, you can sign up and they're free. Sometimes you have to wait, but that's okay. All right, so here's, I made this yesterday and every single one of them is gonna look different. Here's the one we just made. They're, they're all different, okay? So I, of course, I'm gonna do some flicking of ink, some Cajun craze and some copper clay, give our pumpkins a little more something, something. And then we're gonna take, we're gonna, we need both of these pumpkins. So I'm just gonna stick it in and punch them out. Okay, and then a little come out, we'll get us, uh, we need two stems and two leaves. Uh-oh, oh, uh -oh. did I save myself enough room? I did. There we go. All right. So there we go. Let's see if I can find all my pieces. We've got two pumpkins, we've got two leaves, and we've got, nope, that's not the stem that we want. Here it is. Okay. Now, let's glue these together, and then we're going to make the little tag. Well, the little circle, I guess it's not really a tag. So I'm using liquid glue to put these together. Like that. And we'll put one leaf going left and one leaf going right. Nope, nope, there we go. All right, so cute. I love the way that looks. Now, if that's too much work for you, if you're gonna give these away, if you're gonna make a bunch of them, then just stamp the pumpkins. It'll be totally fine. Totally fine. But this is fun. I like doing this. Okay, so for the tag, I've got several things that we're gonna do. We've got a stylus shape, basic white circle, and we're gonna take the leaves and we're gonna stamp them in Kate, oh, not, not Cajun craze, copper clay, just a few areas like that. We are going to stamp the sentiment do, 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 right here in Versamark. Did I put all my embossing stuff away? I was just embossing. Hold on, let me grab my Versamark. All right. Versamark on copper clay as well. Do I have my embossing powder? I do. Comments are not showing up. 
Yes. Um, who is the author? Sue? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. A Fall of Marigolds. If you search it, it'll come up. It's got a pretty cover. There we go. A Fall of Marigolds. I have no idea. I have no idea who the author is. I'm, I'm lucky if I can even remember the name of the book. I'm not good at remembering these details. The other one that I'm reading or listening to right now is called... And now I can't remember the name. Um, I keep calling it Perfect Chemistry. That's not what it is. It's, um, it, they're getting ready to make an Apple series out of it. What is it called? Chemistry, something chemistry. And it's a historical fiction book too. It's a little more difficult to read than the other one. Some, some, I don't know, it takes place in the 50s. And basically like, you know, a woman who is a chemist and she um, is basically treated really bad because she's a woman. Where did my big shot go? I mean, my cut in the box, here we go. You know, how they did back in the 50s. It blows my mind because things are so different now. Um, what is it? Lessons in Chemistry. I knew one of you would know. Thank you, Michelle. Lessons in Chemistry. It's been a real popular book. Lots of people have read it. And it's going to be an Apple series, Apple TV. Thanks, Mom. Lessons in Chemistry. Apple TV series. My mom actually recommended it to me, and it's very good. It's very good. And the audiobook is excellent. Oh, wait, I'm not done. We gotta come back. Okay, now if you guys have a book that you've read, please let us know. Something recent that you've read, please let us know. I prefer historical fiction, but I read a lot of different things too. I read something called Fourth Wing, which is more like Hunger Games-ish before that, and I really liked it, but you have to like, I mean, you have to like kind of sci-fi, not really sci-fi, fantasy maybe. It has some dragons, you know. <laughs> I told my mom yesterday, it has dragons in it and she rolled her eyes. You have to be, you have to like that kind of thing. Otherwise, you're not going to like it. This is the time-worn type embossing folder that I just embossed the circle with. You want to do your stamping first um, because if you stamp second, then it's going to be all weird with the texture, Okay. Um, so tell us books that you've read. Um, Chris says the author is Susan Meisner. Thank you, Chris. Of um, Fall of Marigolds. Is that the, the author of that one? Oh, and Carol told us also. Thank you. Who wrote Lessons in Chemistry? Do you guys know? Is it? We just talked about it yesterday. Did we talk about that author? I don't know. I don't, I don't pay attention to details like that. Just search the name. Search it up. As my daughter says, search it up, mom. All right, we've got a little tag. I didn't tell you this die right here, this cute little tag die is from the cracker, <laughs> the cracker dies, you know, the little, is that what? No, wait, let me look at my notes. What's it called? The, did I not put it on here? I didn't put it on here. It's the crack, you know, the little crack treat cracker dies. That's what that is from. I can't believe I didn't put that on there because I looked it up. Huh. Well, the cracker. You guys know. <laughs> the little 3D thing. All right, put your tag on there. You can put it there or you can put it over here. And I'm just going to tie a little tiny linen thread bow. Let's try that again. The cement guys are gone, Mom, so you can come over. She's gonna come over and see our new pool decking. He said the next phase is the cleanup phase, which I was like, hello, finally, please. But then they come, if you guys have had a pool put in, you know, then they come and do the, the final plaster layer. So they, they still got a lot of things to do. I don't know. We have some planter boxes going in too, which they haven't even done, so I don't know. I don't know, we'll see, maybe they, I don't think they poured those today. All right, so there's our little tag. Let's bring our box back. They were hustling out there. I was impressed. And it, concrete work is not easy work. It is uh, tricky. Okay, where is our pumpkin or our cupcake? Did I not get one out? There we go. Put that in and it just closes over. I'm gonna put a piece of our new tartan foil, 
tartan foil. Remember we talked about this is that online exclusive and it's not, not shiny. It's not glittery. It's, I guess, shiny-ish. It's very pretty. It's like specialty paper. And it comes, it has three colors, I believe. Pretty Peacock, or maybe it's Lost Lagoon. Copper Clay, and what's the other one? Crumb Cake, all in the same package. All right, and then we put this on with Dimensionals. Yes. <laughs> oh, let's see, Susie says, horse and don't forget to write. Okay, I'll add those to my list and go look them up. Thank you, Susie. Okay, why will my, <laughs> somebody save me. My iPad will not stand up. Okay, there we go. How cute is that? So cute. If you're having a fall meeting, I don't know, a fall, what do we have in the fall? I don't know, just give it to somebody you love. It's very cute. I think it's cute. Okay, Hostess Cupcakes. And look, here's some other pumpkins that I had made that I'm gonna do something with. Maybe I'll use these for my thank you tags for people who order next week. Aren't they pretty? All right, I'm put those over here. And then we'll move this over here. And we've got one more project. Here's my early espresso. I was looking for that, the last project. Oh well. All right, one more project. And our friend little Debbie is making an appearance, of course. Craft fairs would be good, Carol. Yes, they would be very good for craft fairs. I think I would sell those for about five bucks. All right, pumpkin spice rolls. I feel like we do something with these every year because they're so good. And we are gonna make a slider box. It's like a little match box like that. A Twinkie fits in this box as well if you prefer the Twinkie because there are pumpkin spice Twinkies and we're gonna use the little gourd. It's very, very cute. All right. Oh it fell again. I've got to get something better for this because it is not working. It's not standing up. Okay, let's make our boxes or our box first. Um, this is a box that's going to fold over to create rounded edges. So there's quite a few score lines on here. And the score lines are on the second page. Let's see. Sue says house on the corner of Bitter and Sweet. That's a cute name. That is a very cute name of a book. And Sarah's Key. Yes, Sarah's Key has been around for a long time. That's a that's a Holocaust book, isn't it, Sue? Whew. You got you to be in the right place to read those. Okay, Copper Clay again, nine and three-fourths by seven. We're gonna score the long side at one and a fourth, two and a half. Why does that not feel right? Yeah, it's right. Two and a half, seven and a fourth, and eight and a half, turn to the short side, and we are gonna score it at one and a fourth, two and a half, four and a half, and five and three fourths, okay? And then you need this other piece right here. This is four and seven eighths by seven and a fourth, and you're only gonna score the long side at two and an eighth, three and three eighths, five and a half, and six and three fourths. All right? Now, just to save on some time, I have trimmed out this piece already. Basically, what you're gonna do is cut out the three corners on all four sides, on all four corners. I'm looking at my iPad, it looks very dark. Okay, iPad, you're making me very mad. Um. Okay, back to this, sorry, I was distracted by my screen. All right, so this is what it looks like. You're gonna cut out all four, uh, three corners on all four corners. Little Tetris L-shaped piece. And then you're gonna cut these so that they are like that. You're gonna just snip them, all right? Now on my individual recording of this, I have, I will, if you wanna go watch it on YouTube, I did the cutting on there, but I just thought we'd save time and just do it like this. Now, burnish your lines with your, um, what am I thinking, bone folder. Get everything nice and crisp. Now put the adhesive on the outside of your four corners and then fold them up into 
the sides, make sure that they're, they're even. Okay, this is what it's looking like. And press and hold. You, I would probably say use glue, which we'll do on the next pieces. Now these are the ones that are gonna fold over. Uh-oh, this has to be even, otherwise it's not gonna fold over right. Why is that not lining up? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do a little something right here because this is, I did not, either I didn't score very well or I didn't cut very well. So I'm just gonna cut the corners off. If, yours is, if your piece is ever sticking up above the edge, just cut the corner off. All right, now we're talking. All right, glue, glue, and then just fold over. All right, so now your box is reinforced. It's got two layers of cardstock on the sides so that when your person is pulling it, it's not gonna tear. And it gets those nice round edges. So let's stick some, some clothes pins on here and let it rest, let it dry, okay? This piece is very easy. You're gonna burnish those lines. Do, 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 burnish, burnish. And then all you're gonna do is put adhesive on that long skinny uh, tab, fold over in half, and there is your little, like the little tunnel that the drawer goes in, okay? All right, so now we've made the box. Let's stamp our cute pumpkins. We're gonna stamp Let's see, all of them, let's look at it. All of them are gonna be popped up except for that one, okay? I was trying to create different um, depth with our, with our pieces. So let's look at our punch again. Gosh, I didn't know where the punch was. We gotta punch um, this one like that so we can punch it out. So let's see, let me get the right one. Pumpkin pie, it's gonna go right there. And then we need a big one in Cajun craze. My ink pads are all the way over. I'm just not pulling them over. Okay, so let's punch those out. One and two. Okay, then we're gonna do a little baby pumpkin and pumpkin pie right here, and our little gourd in Crush Curry or Daffodil Delight, whichever you want. I know some people really are not fans of Crush Curry. I like it, for the fall I like it. Now our stems are gonna be, let's use copper clay. And this stem is so long. Look, when I stamp it right here, look how long it is. I think that's too long for a pumpkin. So do I have my chamois? It's buried over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna ink about half of it and then stamp it. Doesn't that look better? Especially for this guy. He doesn't need a real long stem. Okay? All right, so now you gotta fussy cut these, these two. Now, if you don't wanna fussy cut, then just use the pumpkins at the punch or stamp them flat like the other one I showed you. And then the other two could be in front. This little guy is very cute. Lois asked me earlier if I had shared a picture of my porch. I haven't yet, I'm going to. I'm going to, I promise, tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow so you guys can see my pumpkins. I still feel like I need some more pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will laugh when you see my porch. I have several areas in my yard that need pump pumpkins. We have a we have an address rock out in the front. I think that my neighbors have put pumpkins in front of theirs. So now I'm like, oh, okay. Well, is that what we're doing? Then I need to go get a few more. I need to wait until the church pumpkin patch is open, and then I can at least my wasteful spending. <laughs> we'll go to a good cause. Do you guys have church pumpkin patches? Our church, 
pumpkin patch our churches there we have a lot of church pumpkin patches around town the church that i grew up in always has a great pumpkin patch all right so i punched out the stem from um copper clay had them kind of one going that way one going that way then we have this little nested essential nested essentials die it's the second largest not the largest but the second largest we're going to stamp that in pumpkin pie and we're going to do kind of half a stem well or a big stem <laughs> see how big it is i just think this stem i mean i like a big stem on a pumpkin but just for some reason on this one i just feel like it's a little bit too big all right so there's our gourd and we've got our big guy and we'll put the little baby over here on the end and then this guy in the middle like that i'm seeing that is crooked all right so there we go our little cluster of pumpkins now for our sentiment we're not going to do anything super fancy we're just going to stamp it in copper clay and we're just going to cut off a slice of cardstock a slice of cardstock all right let's see brand new trimmer oh it feels nice oops that's too fat we need to cut off more let's see if i can do more we want it to be pretty skinny uh, no nope what am i doing There we go. That's still not good. Okay, let's just cut off a piece like this. And then stamp it. So I don't know what's happening with this one. It just will not do what I'm telling it to do for some reason. All right, where did our stamp go? Right here. Let's stamp it again. A harvest of blessings. There we go. And then I'm just going to cut them off at an angle. The ends dimensionals things are buried now i've got stuff all over the place on my desk it's going to be a big cleanup afterwards all right and then we'll put that right across there now this paper look at this gorgeous twall paper this is an online exclusive as well and it is called oh i'm gonna have to look saint nick something um traditions of saint nick it goes with our little St. Nick bundle, but this, it's got some patterns, some monochromatic kind of twall looking patterns that I really like. And so we're using it for a non-Christmas project. All right, let's put this sock guy in and then you just slide your little drawer in your box and we'll put our little piece of beautiful designer series paper right here. And then we'll put on our little cluster of adorable pumpkins and last but not least we need a bow now you guys know the beauty of stamping up is our color coordination and so if we're using copper clay cardstock and copper <laughs> copper clay ink and what else copper clay markers we've got to use the copper clay ribbon and it's a perfect match so the end colors all have a bolt of this textured ribbon. It's very pretty. We're gonna use a mini glue dot and put that right on the end. And we are done. Kind of a sophisticated fall treat, don't you think? Now, if you guys wanna change these to Halloween specific treats, this stamp set does have a jack-o'-lantern face. I didn't use it on these projects, um, but you can, of course, change it to um, a jack-o'-lantern. Okay, let me bring this back over. The stupid thing will not stay standing up. Let's see if I can see what you guys have been saying. Yes, Kimberly, matchy-matchy. Thanks, Cliffy. Oh, behind, I'm sorry. I know, make time for yourself so that you can stamp. Oh, hey, Lisa, you you know what? You can put those pumpkins somewhere in your yard. It doesn't have to be your porch. 
Okay, so I've got some extra projects. Now let's bring back Carla's card. And let's, now that we've done all these things with the pumpkins, remember, look. So don't forget to punch your pumpkins out of just designer series paper. It's so cute. And it could be any color, any color you want. This is a slimline card. And I'm gonna have this on my blog on Monday using non-traditional colors, non-traditional paper, but so cute, look, a navy. Um, a navy gourd. Now here, this card, the next few are cards that we did at our team meeting this month. No, the only stamping here is the sentiment. All the punching, those are from the autumn leaves dies. This one is really cute. This is a Halloween paper. I showed this on Wednesday on my blog. Really an easy card. Um, one of them's punched out. The other two are stamped in the background. Th no, maybe I showed that one yesterday. This is the one I did Wednesday. This is a little more over the top. As you can see, I've got an embossed background. And then I've got nine pumpkins. Uh, eight of them are pretty peacock. One is pumpkin pie, a little jack-o'-lantern. And um, they are all brushed with Wink of Stella. I don't know if you can tell. This is another project we did at my team meeting, a little fun fold. See how he's just sitting there, a little jack-o'-lantern? That paper, make that paper work for you. I mean, it does, it adds a lot, that um, Them Bones designer series paper. And then these are swaps. This is from Leanne. Beautiful, she used that mask back there. I like the little glitter paper. This is from, I don't know, there's no name, but that um, black cardstock is embossed with the, what's it called, 10, I don't know. One of our new embossing folders is beautiful. This one, I like the colors too. I just love everything that has the gourd. This is from Ruth, a swap card from Ruth. Very pretty. This one is from Nancy. A little cluster of pumpkins. She uh, put her, they, I noticed they both, uh, maybe I'm the only one that puts the stem on the front. Yeah, apparently everybody puts the stem behind the pumpkin and the gourd. Okay, whatever you wanna do, whatever. And then here's one more. This is from Rachel. Those colors go good together, don't they? Pretty peacock and pumpkin pie. All right, so there are all your inspiration ideas for Pick of the Patch. If you would like for me to send you a kit with today's three projects, I will send it to you for free with, as a thank you, uh oh, I just spilled my Coke. Hold please. As a thank you for an order um, between Monday, between now and Monday at midnight, using this week's host code and order minimum is $35. If your order is over $150, don't use the host code. I'm off centered. Let me move over. Don't use the host code because then you'll get the host rewards and I'll still send you the projects as a thank you. Okay, you guys, that's it. I hope you had a fun time today. How late am I? Not too bad. Next week, we'll be trucking along. I don't care if it sells out again. We're going for it. Lots of you are asking me for trucking along ideas. So next week we'll be trucking along. Okay. All right. Have a wonderful weekend, you guys, and I will see you next week. Thanks everybody. Bye.